Hey, it's Joe Glines. In this video, we're going to demonstrate um, setting the alignment, both vertical and horizontal, using some functions I wrote with uh, AutoHotKey, um, connecting to Excel via COM, which is the component object model. And um, it's also introducing this concept of constants, which I'm not going to explain too much in this video. I'm going to cover that in a different video just to compartmentalize it. But for now, um, let's just go ahead and jump in here. So. Um, this very first one, in my other videos you've seen, we, we get a, a handle to the active Excel application and, and worksheet. And um, let me go ahead and comment out this first one. So here, I'm, I'm pointing to that active, which is what I get here. I store it in the variable Excel or object. And here I say, okay, now when you have that, um, let's jump into each alignment. So that's down here. It's going to use it here. And here you see it's, it's in the dot notation for each of these calls. Um, and what I do is is it says, okay, let's pass in the range. And so in this case, I'm going to do A1 to C1. So that's going to be where I actually have some data. Of course, you could pick whatever range you want. Um, and then I'm going to say H. The, I don't have to have this. I could have it like this, but it just helps remind me. I'm going to set H to equal to 1. And 1, um, I've written them out here. 1 equals left, 2 is center, and 3 is right. But... Um, this I've used logic, so hey, if h, this is what this is a one line logic statement, if h equals 1, then basically um, run this next command here, but if h equals 2, run this one, and if h equals 3, run this one. And now these numbers here, this negative 4131, negative 4108, and negative 4152, these are constants that are built into Excel that actually in Excel um, they have a value that if you were running VBA, you could put in the, the word, it's like um, VL um, left, right, vertical line left. And Excel would know VL left means to put in this number, minus 4131, which it's also predefined to do, left alignment. Um, that's as deep as I want to go in this. So each one of these are constants, and here we just decide which one we want to send by putting in a number. Of course, I could have put in a word, um, but my experience is I'd rather just have a one-digit number and not have to worry that I did a typo, right? Maybe I could put the first letter, LCR, right? That might be pretty easy to remember if you use it a lot. Um, so let's do an example here. So I'm going to save it, run it. Now when I hit my hotkey, oh, it actually, yeah, so that doesn't do a lot because it is left aligned. Let's change it to being center aligned. So I'm going to save it, reload, and launch. And so notice my cells down here that all went to center. And let's do right alignment. Three. All right. And I can easily change that back to one to go back to left. Um, same thing with the vertical alignment. So my vertical right now, four, you can see down here. Um, this, I've told it, when, when you pass a four, make it um, set to bottom, which is minus 4107. Um, let's go ahead and save it, reload, and launch. It's already on the bottom, actually, so that was lame. But let's uh, let's say, let's make it um, center. So two, and see it moves it up in the middle. One is at the top. I'm not sure what distributed means. Um, I guess if there was a lot of it, it would equally distribute it throughout. So centered within everywhere? No, I don't know. But uh, that's it for for this video. I just wanted to qu give a quick demo of these functions I wrote. Here is the the other one, which I've mentioned in other videos of getting the pointer to it, or the handle, and then we go ahead and, and use it in each one of these. And um, this, by the way, let's say I didn't pass a value. So now I'm just going to pass the range and the handle. It is going to default to on this one to 1, because I tell it here, make it the default one if you don't pass anything. And so here, the default would be left because I've set it to one. And and that's it. It's a nice, easy way to be able to pass this inside of an AutoHotKey script to just tell it what range you want to apply it to, and it'll, it'll go apply that alignment um, for that cell. Thank you.